Hello and welcome to crafting <laughs> with Priscilla. That's me. I want to show you some super cute things I made. These are made out of clay. It's an air dry clay. And I put them on these little um, birch tree bases. They're super fun and easy to make. Now, this is just birch tree slices that Morton, um, my husband, did, I think, two years ago, maybe last year. Not sure. But what I did here was I just took a little wire, put around with a little bead on top. And then my snowman, he's looking up at the star. Uh, I'm also making these little guys here. These are just made out of sticks. Now they're acorn tops that I put clay in. And then when they were dry, put little faces on. And I'm gonna take this and just glue his hand down here. And the moss that I'm using is super cool. It's from, um, it was used on the set of, um, oh, Walking Dead, I think it is. I got it down in Savannah, Georgia. Somebody asked me if I was in The Walking Dead, to which I replied, no. <laughs> so this guy, is he's a little decoration for on the tree, um, little acorn man. And this one I did, I'm not thrilled about this. I don't like dislike him, but I put a little beard on him. And I put, um, oh, the eyes I did with jelly roll pen. And then the center I put, use Sharpie. And um, a corn cap with clay in it. And then he's just hanging on there. And I like to personalize, or I like to put dates on ornaments that I do. And these, because the hole had already been drilled, um, I could use it, the hole for an O. So I'm gonna show you another cute little trick that you can do to make ornaments. Um, and this is just taking a pine cone, just take a pine cone. And this one, I've already been working on it. All you do with these is take, pull out a little fluff. This is just a makeup removing pad and just stick it between. You don't even need to glue it, just stick it between. <laughs> and you make this cute little woody owl or snowy owl, snowy owl, that's the word. And these little pointy scissors actually work really nice. I like to make them super fluffy this is a really fun one for kids to make. All ages, really. And I started on this one the other day. So that's why he has a whole lot of it done. What you really want to do is get it between every single, every single one of these. And like this piece here, there's some missing, so it feels like it'll fall out. Just put a little bit of glue there and then put it in, but most of them, most of them are held in really, really well. That will hold that in. But see down here, see how it's more spread out? I'll just take some of the fluff, put some glue. I am making so many Christmas crafts just now. I have some paintings that I'm gonna show you too and give you some ideas maybe that you would like to do. Put that in, push it down so it sticks. You never want to push your fingers in for the hot, hot glue. Okay, so I'm looking all over. He's pretty good. And this is going to be his eyes, his nose, and um, we're gonna put a little top on him. So I think he's all the way done. I think he has plenty, maybe right in there. Right in there, I will put a little fluff. You can't have them too fluffy. Okay, so for the eyes, what I'm gonna do is I was gonna paint this, but if you have a jelly roll um, Sakura jelly roll. You don't really need to paint them. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of white on here. And 
And this stuff is pretty good for being able to write on anything. And if you hear that clicky clicky noise, that's my kiln going. Fusing some glass. And we don't have to be special or fussy with that. Just a little white on there. And then I'm going to take and put his eyes on here. Well, I'll wait till that dries. It'll take a second to dry. And then while that's drying, I'm going to use another jelly roll for his beak. And again, it does not have to be perfect. I like to just use bits of the, um, I like to just use bits of the pine cone itself to do this stuff. And sometimes I'll look down at the bottom. Uh, and if he has two <laughs> that are putting down there, sometimes I'll, I'll do them orange too, but I'm not going to do that just now. Not going to do that. Let's see if this will work now. Yep. And you could put um, little dots of felt here. You could put little googly eyes. Anything that you want to do. I'm going to put a little string on them. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this string here and I'm going to come up around the top just give it a little tie actually I'll go to <laughs> little tie I'm going to put down a little whack of glue. This is low temp stuff. I really like using low temp glue. Morton had told me the advantage and disadvantage of it once. <laughs> but every, every glue that I get look, that jumps up and doesn't go down where it needs to go down. That happens to me every time. Do you have that problem? Come on, you there we go. Sometimes I push it with my finger, but when you're holding something, trying to push it with your finger is hard. I gotta lay it down. Sorry. There we go. Now it's where it needs to be. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of loop and scoop up oh, and that little top came out. So I'm just going to turn it sideways. That's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. Don't worry about that. It's actually better. Because <laughs> he won't come off now. And I'll just snip that little part off. No one will know. Don't tell. And then we have a little owl. And I like to just tie a little hoop on the end. That you could put it right on the tree. You could hang it in the window. Do anything with it. This is a really fun um, project for kids to do. Put a little hoop there, give it a tug. That's it, and, and you have a little owl, a little snowy owl. And you can get him as stuffed as you want to. Um, you can really go crazy on the stuffing. And like if you see a part coming out, Put a little bit of glue in, push, and it'll stay. You can use white glue too to glue there. So that's our little owl. So um, I want to show you, I'm working on a little stick man here, but I want to start from scratch and show you one. Uh, but I also want to show you some paintings for ideas. Um, I guess I'll. Well, actually, no, wait. I'm going to show you this little guy first. <laughs> these little guys here. I need to put them all on, like I said, I, these are all air-dry clay. I used to get it at Michael's. It is not 
um, on their website anymore. I don't know if they started, stopped selling it. It's Creatology. It's Michael's own brand. So what I like to do to make my snow, I like to take, I like to pull some fluff, fluff apart. Just from one of these makeup pads. Just this. Oh, and let me show you this while I have this here. This looks super cute. I'll take this little piece here. And then I'll pull this apart right down the middle. I'll try to anyway. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's working. Fluff it right down the middle. I almost forgot. Our little owl needs wings. So put them like kind of where you want them. We'll go here. I'm just gonna stick a little puddle of glue in there. I like to put them in kind of upside down because then they flap down cute. And I don't like to glue them down. <laughs> you can glue them down, but I like them to look like they're flapping. I might glue it down just a little bit on that one. I don't glue them down solid though. Just a little bit, boop, done. Per oh my gosh, he's so cute. So over here, I'm gonna find about the same sides. There, that one. And my curve is going to the back. It's gonna lay down this way. A little glue. I'm gonna put that little part on. Stick that down in there. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's adorable. You could make him hold a little present or anything. He could really be cute. I'm going to just tag this one down just because that guy's down too. But I do like to have them little floppy wings as well. So don't forget to put their wings on. I'm going to put a little blob there. And then just touch them loosely down there. So they're not tightly glued against it. The wings are like, well, he has to have wings to fly, doesn't he? <laughs> the wings really are great. Okay, so this fluffy stuff, I'm going to fluff it and fluff it and just kind of pull it. If you've ever worked with wool, I do this when I'm needle felting too. If I'm blending in color, works really well. I'm going to take it and push it around here. Put the glue on. Push this down. And I'm going to kind of just push it all around and into that glue. Into it. Now on the bottom of this guy, we're gonna put glue. I had him drying on a piece of cardboard, so he grabbed part of that. I'm gonna be so generous with that glue. And we're gonna put him down this away. And just push him, push him kinda of hard down. Now see here where I have that glue that glooped out. Just stick some more fluffs in there. You gotta be quick. The glue will. When the glue cools, the glue dries. So these little makeup pad removers, they are my favorite thing for making little fake snow on these little guys. Because look how fluffy it is. And it's super soft. You can use other things too. You can use whatever you like. I like these guys work really well for me. Just push it right on in there. If some of it sticks up, that's great. So now this guy... Take 
I'm gonna set him here. He's like, oh, I got a candy cane. He's so adorable. I'm gonna take some wire. This is just like a, kind of a pretty thin gauge craft wire that I'm using. I'm just gonna cut a piece of this. Not any specific uh, length. I got a messy work area here. But what you want to do is one end of it, I'm going to take and twist the end. Just so I have something for my glue to grab a hold of. Because if I just put a wire in straight, if I just put that in underneath them, it won't hold as well as that. That will pull right off. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put three of these little, these are acrylic little snowflake beads. I love them. They look like little crystals. I'll put three of these on here. And then I want to make where the center is. So once these are on, I'm gonna curve this other end here. Just gonna do this. Again, it'll slide underneath. So now I'm gonna figure out where the middle is. Put one on one side, one on the other, and one in the middle. So now this part, you can do this any sort of way. I'm just gonna take and make a little knot. Well, not a knot, a little loop. A little loop, one loop on one side. And that'll hold our snowflake up where we want it. One loop on this side, little loops. Let's squeeze that down. So this one won't slide, this one's stuck there. I'm gonna do the same to these. Space it how you want to, but gravity works wonders. So you only have to do one on the bottom here. So a little twist around, make a little loop. Twist and make a little loop, and then I like to just give it a pinch, bend it down into shape. So see how it holds them apart from each other. Do the same thing again here. They don't have to be perfect. If they're not perfectly aligned, guess what? It's all good. <laughs> but there, that's gonna hold your snowflakes where your snowflakes wanna be. So now down here, I'm gonna bend this one in. Start with one side, doesn't matter where. And then here on the end of this, I'm gonna really goop it up with glue. And then we're gonna go underneath here between like the snowman, in between the snowman and the snow. <laughs> and then on top of there, I'll take another little piece of fluff. This is my, this is my um, insurance, that it won't, won't come off. And I'm just gonna really push that in there right into that hot glue. He is now, he's now on there. Once that cools, once that cools, you won't be able to pull it off. And see how it looks like he's looking up at the snowflakes now. I love it. <laughs> so now this side, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna bend this. And I like to just go about that's perfect there, actually. And because I have a little concave part here, I'm just gonna push my, my glue right there and then go right into here. Push it in, oh, that was great. It went under the snowman. While it's still hot, grab my fluffy stuff, push it there and push it right down in. 
Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. So now, um, you could just set him, he could just set somewhere. And I always recommend that people take these and put them on lower on the branches because he's looking up at you. So you want him lower on the branch. Now I'm just going to take with a regular Sharpie. It's, um, it's a fine point, not extra fine. And up here I'm just going to write joy because he is definitely joyful. Use that circle <laughs> that my, my husband had drilled. A little Y. You can, you could use rubber stamps on here too. If you want to use rubber stamps on here, you can do that. And then two, oh, two, three. That's what year he was born. <laughs> He's just a baby. Just a baby snowman. And there he is. I love him. They're so adorable. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to make a little stick person. But I'm first going to show you a couple little paintings that I'm working on. Um, this is just a simple... Um, it's some pearl acrylics and regular acrylics. A uh, simple little wreath. And my phone is sitting so weird. <laughs> there we go. Little Christmassy feels. And over here I have quite a few that are little. I'm, I have to paint a Christmas tree on there. The same way with this. I'm painting a Christmas tree on there. <laughs> And on this, well, I might not paint a Christmas tree on there. That one might be done. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Christmas tree and Christmas tree. And these ones, these four, how they all look the same. I painted this one super heavy. And then I pushed my other canvas in to grab a print. They all look so different, but um, it helped me help, help me make it happen. So get creative while you're doing, especially with paintings. Um, if you do a lot of paintings and it works with watercolor or anything. So get creative. Okay, so I'm gonna take, and I have some sticks here and we're gonna find we're gonna find a little man here. So look for the Y parts, and that's like a natural to be a leg. And these branches, um, they have been inside for a little bit. They're still pretty pliable, so they won't just snap, but I will just bend it a bit and then use my scissors to cut it. You could use pruning shears too. Um, but look up here now. We have a body, we have a neck, and we have an arm. <laughs> that felt brutal. So up here for that, leave space for the head to go on. He's not going to have a long, long neck like that. This. So I'm going to look. I need an arm for him but I want to make the arm substantial. I don't want it to just um, be sticking there and maybe falling off. So this little Y part here, that's gonna really help make it sturdier. I'm gonna use that on him. Set this little guy back here. And let's pick, let's pick a head. I have a whole bunch that I've done up. Let's use this one. Um, the first thing, this air dry clay, it's soft and I can poke into it like, like this. Poke. Poke. And then I'm going to put my glue right on the end of this. I'm going to spin it so it doesn't fall off. And then right up in there. Now... Oh, that's actually kind of cute, that little, that little bump of a collar. I might let that like that. 
I have a little, um, I have a metallic gel pen that I could color that like little stripes. Or you can push moss in it. Let's push moss in it. We have moss right here. Let's do that. You could put a little scarf on there. Uh, but I like this natural little look on this little man. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So now the arm, this arm, because it has a Y there, so we're not just gonna stick it to there. See what I mean? We're not just gonna do that. We're gonna stick it like this so it has more bite to it. And we might think, do we wanna put his arm up like he's waving high? That actually is pretty cute. That actually is really cute. We're gonna make him wave high. <laughs> I'm gonna put this where I want it to go. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put it here, because we just did that. And I'm gonna touch just a little bit of it by his cheek. And we can, we don't even have to glue that. That's just gonna stay up by his cheek. And I'm just hunking that up with glue. That glue means nothing just now. So I have little bits of material here I have not put clothes on one of these yet, but I have this fabric that I had, um, I had painted this fabric. I just wanna let this cool down. I don't want things getting stuck to them. Um, I could put hair on these too and turn them into girls, but I like them as little men. But you do whatever you wanna do, but see this, this fabric? We're gonna use this to make some cute little things. Now I like this fringe. I'm gonna take this and just cut this little part. Why that looks like a little dress for him. We're gonna, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna cut this bit right down the middle just a little bit. Yep. And we're gonna glue on here. Trust the process. I don't wanna hide all the stick. I'm gonna put that up here. I'm gonna take this <laughs> and glue it in the back. That's gonna be perfect. Don't be afraid to put some glue on. This is my first time doing one with this, with clothes. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this part here, I kind of want to flop this down. <laughs> And you can do whatever makes you happy. You do whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna flop this down. It's the fun part when you're gluing or gluing clothes together instead of sewing them. You can get super creative. That little fringy part I want to stick out. Yep. Yep, fringy parts, the fringy part needs to stick out. That looks like a little toga. <laughs> he has a little toga on. So I'm gonna take a little thin strip of this. This is a canvas. I painted this, oh my gosh, I can't even remember how long ago. Painted this out in Arizona. Oh, that part's cool there too. I love this. I'm 
just trying to get some shred on here. There we go. There we go. I don't want it to look like he has brand new clothing on. I mean, come on, he's running around the forest, hanging off of your Christmas tree. I'm gonna rough these edges up. Yes. <laughs> That's what we want. So this, I'm gonna go up here. Oh, that would look nice. I'll pull this part back up again. <laughs> Put that underneath there. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be cute. Go under there. This is going to come over here. This piece is going to go right over here. I'm going to trim this off a bit. And you can, you can seriously get as creative as you want to with these. Yep, just that little trim down there. You need it. Yep, 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 yep. You can make mittens for them. You can make shoes for them. Now, I'm not going to put pants on him because his legs and all, they're really solid stuff. But I am going to put chaps on him. <laughs> Moss chaps. I love how this looks. And I'm going to use this gray, this gray moss. This is so adorable. I have a couple couple different clusters here. And I'm not gonna go the whole way down his leg on it, just to there. Spread that around, squeeze it a little bit. I hope you can see this nice and clear. And I hope you give it a try and see how it just, oh, that's perfect. That is a perfect little mossy leg. Do the same on this side. And I'm just kind of letting this kind of spin around a little bit in it. And you're, I think you're either going to fall madly in love with him or you're going to think, what the heck? <laughs> so here, we're going to put this up just to give him like the shape of hips. Let's see how his backside's looking. Well, we need a little bit for his backside. <laughs> I might even give him little mossy shoes. I have this color moss that's super cute. But I think I'm going to try to give him little mossy shoes. And get creative. Just have fun doing it. These are going to be adorable. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so cute. That looks like a little boot for him. Oh my gosh. Little, little, little. Just a little amount is all we need of that. Oh, that's so adorable. 
This is a perfect boot moss. Who knew? I bet when they were filming The Walking Dead, they never thought some crazy lady living in a church would be crafting with their moss. <laughs> that same little boot feel and you don't want to overdo it on this you do not have to overdo it less is more that oh my gosh now I gotta put boots on him too he has to have boots he has to have boots he's totally jelly now a little bit a little bit oh. I love it. The whole time, every time I craft and create something, as I'm doing it, I try to think of like ways to make it better. Every time. And this little, even like that, more of the brown is showing, but it looks so cute as a boot. I mean, it's like the perfect little boot for him. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. And you see how this is super easy. You, you definitely have to use low temp glue for this though. Don't be fooled thinking I'm using a high temp glue gun here. I'm not. Low temp, if you did this with high, you're gonna be burning your fingers. This does not, that looks so much better. Squish that. You can squish it and shape it right into a boot. Look at the boots are so cute. I love them. Oh, he's perfect. Now I have, because this is, um, I'm thinking it's for winter, right? I'm thinking it's for Christmas. I'm thinking people are gonna put them on their Christmas trees. So I'm gonna take one of these little snowflakes and I have somewhere, where is it? Let's see if I can't use this. This is moss and this is really strong moss too. Let me see if I can't thread this moth, moss. <laughs> I've never tried to thread moss before. I'm gonna try it. I have an idea for it. I need glasses on. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna just, now it's on there. I'm gonna put it on his hand like he's carrying this little snowflake and see what it looks like. I think it's gonna be cute. There's some glue there. I was gonna use string, but then I thought I wanna keep them, I'm gonna keep them natural looking. You could actually, I was gonna make a dangle. But I think I'm gonna make him like hold it in his hand. Like he's just caught a snowflake. I love that. I love that. I love him. So much better now. So much better now. Yep, the little snowflake is great. Okay. So now this one that I did earlier, I'm thinking he might need a snowflake too. And I have this one that's green. I don't like the looks of that with him. I'm going to put... I'm just gonna put this here with a little piece of this. Oh, you can see it. I was worried you couldn't see it. I like that. The little crystal on there looks cute. Okay. So this fellow, um, I think I might make his hands be this kind of, this moss. <laughs> this moss is really cool. 
I got all of these at this cool place called Starlandia in Savannah, Georgia. And um, the manager there told me that when they did final, uh, or final chapter of Walking Dead, I think it was called, the final chapter, they brought in all this moss and donated it. And Starlandia is so cool. That looks so neat. Starlandia is so cool. They have these incredible art supplies. I have another little piece of this moss. I kind of want to have him holding something too, though. But I do love this moss. <laughs> That's too big for there. Little. Little, little, little. And you could use real acorns to make these too. Oh, my glue gun did that again. I don't know why it does that. That's annoying. Oh, I love those for his hands. <laughs> so good and always make sure whenever you're using a glue gun get rid of your little pesky strings your little pesky strings leave the project down I kind of want to give them a wand <laughs> you, you could do absolutely anything with these and I'll show you how I do his hat Gonna cut a bit of this. Cut a bit of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this knot in it first, just so it's a loop to hold him. Put this in. Pull this. Leave it big enough that someone could put like, um, you know, like a Christmas hook in it. They got plenty of room to do that. And pull this tight, 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 tight. That's it. So we got a loop there. Now up here on his hat. I have just been doing these this way and they work out really, really well. Take this. I hope you can see okay. Take this, tie it. I'm going to tie it here. Before, no, I'll put it on. Make it tight. Just the one time we need. glue on there and then I'm gonna wrap this a couple wraps and then I want to make it go up because he's gonna hang so you don't want that at an angle you want that to go up give it a nice squeeze and there he is oh my god he is so cute. I love him too. I love him. He's fantastic. Okay. I have, um, I'm going to keep crafting for one hour. I did these the other night and that way, um, people can see what I'm up to. If you have, you know, if you have any desire to make things like this. So, um, I'm not gonna do another one of the owls. Let's do the, let's do this snowman. The snowman, I already did the hard part, but this guy fell over, so his clay got weird. So I'm gonna bring up some fluffy snow on his tummy. 
um, just get your little, get this, fluff some up. You can also, um, another way to do this, I'll show you another way. I forgot about this. You just push, put your glue down. I'm gonna push that, make it come out quick. <laughs> Cause my glue gun is weird. Push this down on this side. Just push it down, push it in. The whole thing. And I know it looks weird like this, don't worry. We're not gonna let it like this. So when it cools, because it does take a minute to cool, after it cools, it's not really cool yet, but I'm super impatient. I'll pull the edge off a while. That's what you want to do. You want to pull up anything that's not sticking to it. And it gives you that fluffy, fluffy look. And then just sort of tap those little strands. If you sort of tap them back, it just makes it like a little snow cloud. Now we're going to glue this guy. Put this on the bottom of this guy. and put it on really thick. You see how thick that is? There, that, that way, that side. That side, so now up here, can I just really shape them down there? <laughs> I love it, love it. Oh, look at his sweet little face. Okay, so now, I'm gonna fluff some more stuff around, but let's put the wire on them first. I just think they look so sweet with that little wire up there. And this one, I might just do on this one. Take my wire. Because they're looking up, it looks like they're looking at the wire. Curve this end. And, um, now I'm gonna take that green, this green one. A lucky green snowflake. So find the, find the halfway point and then do our little trick where we make a little loop, make a little loop on that one side it with your pliers. If you have a little loop there, your bead stays in place. Put the bead there. Do another little loop on this side. Not a knot or anything, just a little loop. That's all you need. A little loop. That's it, not going anywhere now. And you could make this curvy if you wanted to. I kind of like how it looks this way. And then just remember when you're doing this, remember you want to twist this end bit in. You want to give yourself some purchase for your glue so the wire just won't pull right back out. Just give that a little twist. Straighten this. Straighten this. That's so perfect. Look, he's going to be looking right at it. Okay, bend this over. I'm going to actually leave that straight. We're going to go in here. that there. Go 
right in there. And I'm pushing that in as far as I can push it. That's great. Bending it up. I'm gonna put a little blob around here. Put some more fluff in there. Should I have pre-fluff? Pre-fluff your fluff. F fluff your fluff. <laughs> Push that on. Take our scissors and really work it down in good. Tuck it in there really nice and hard. It'll still stay fluffy on the edge, don't worry. That's what you're after. Like this is now, this is like such a solid bond. And that's what you want, you want that strength. Whenever I'm making something, I like to make it so hopefully it'll um, like last for so long. That's what I'm after. This guy, I'm gonna kind of bend this side because he's gonna go in there. Get your glue down. Push this right in underneath our underneath our snowman. Like I said, you could do it before you put him in place. You really, really could, but I like the thought of um, everything kind of being where I, I want the snowman to be looking, if that makes sense. And right up here, I have a little bit of glue showing. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put some here and there. And we're gonna fluff up some of this glue for, or fluff up some of that for here. Because remember I said I wanted to hide the tummy a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit there. That's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. He's in the snowy snow. I love him. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. I'm just going to straighten this up. These are adorable. <laughs> These are so adorable. And then I'm going to write on the bottom again. I got a hunk of glue there. Don't have any hunks of glue sticking around. I'm gonna put more fluff there. He's got so much fluff. He's super fluffy. And you wanna kind of pull the fluff apart because if any of it wants to pull away, you wanna get it away. So don't be afraid to give it that test. The, is this gonna stick test? Get rid of all your little, all your little things and there you go. Oh, let's put his date of birth on him. And again, these look so sweet. Um, hanging from a tree or sitting in a window. Sitting beside a Christmas tree, sitting at a table. Oh my gosh, these would be so cute for little placeholders. You could have the person's name. Um, you could have the person's name up there. You could personalize them. If you were having a dinner party, that would be so fun. There we go. <laughs> 
all done. Put your lid on the marker and you are finished. Thank you for watching and leave a comment on which one of these little fellows you like the most. You like the snowmen, you like um, our little stick men. Where'd the other one go? Oh, we have a stick man that ran away. He's not here. Oh, there he is. I don't know how he got over there. <laughs> and uh, just have fun. These, these make perfect little gifts for your friends. Enjoy, and thanks for creating with me. Bye-bye.